Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. We're in the F-16C today and we're looking at the CMDS, the Countermeasures Dispensing Set, especially chaff and flares at the moment. So first of all, we need to decide how many chaff, how many flares we have in our aircraft. So we're going to press, as you all know by now, that there. Okay, there we go. So we can have flare here, chaff here. So use the slider, you can have 120 with zero chaff or vice versa. Or a mix. We're going to go for a mix of 60 and 60. Request rearming. So next let's look at the CMDS panel. This here is the CMDS panel. First of all, status. Is the CMDS go or is it no go? In this case it's go, we're ready to use it. Here we have switches for the RWR, the jammer and the missile warning system. These switches do not actually power up the RWR, the jammer, and the missile warning system. What these actually do is allow the CMDS system to liaise with these systems to make decisions about countermeasures. So, do we want to liaise with the RWR? Yes. Do we want to liaise with the jammer? Yes. Do we want to liaise with the missile warning system in the Block 50 aircraft that we have? We don't have the missile warning system anyway, so that's irrelevant. Next is the jettison switch. Be awfully careful not to turn that on. If you turn the jettison switch on, it will automatically jettison all of your flares. This is because of a fire, lit fire risk in case of an emergency. Next, we have the program. We can have either choose a built-in test or programs one, two, three and four. I'll post on the screen now a rough guide to what these are by default set to. For the time being we'll just stick with program one. Next we have our flare and our chaff. Do we want the flare system to be on or off? So we can have it on, chaff's on or off. We've got other one, another two. This is for future expansion of countermeasures but we have nothing in there at the moment available. Here we have a current counter saying we've got 60 chaffs left and 60 flares left as we rearmed with. We can also have different text in these areas here as we'll see later on. Next we have the master mode for the CMDS and before we do that we need to go and have a little look at some control. So we actually control the CMDS with what I call the CMS switch. So we've got CMS forward, CMS right and CMS aft. CMS left currently does not do anything. So forward, right and aft you need bound on your HOTAS. So regards to these modes here, we can have off, we can have standby where it's energized but will not actually activate. We can have manual, with manual selected, if we press the CMS forward on our HOTAS, then the currently selected program will deploy. Next is semi. In this case, the CMDS system will decide which program of chaff and flare that is going to deploy, but the actually deploying this program is still up to us, the pilot by pressing the CMS aft button. And the way it decides which program to choose is based again on the input from the RWR and the jammer. Next is auto. Again, the CMDS will decide which program of chaff and player to decide based on the information. In this case, the program release will not be triggered by the pilot. It will do it automatically, but we do have to give it consent to do this. To give it con to consent to do this, we'll press CMS aft and to cancel descent so that it and to cancel consent so that it cannot do any dispensing we'll use cms right finally like in the hornet there's a bypass the bypass means that we're not using any programs at all it's all completely pilot driven and it does not use the programs instead we can just do single bursts of uh, countermeasure at the press of a button and the only th other thing we've missed out is this little advisory box here. This right side displays dispense ready when manual consent is required to dispense countermeasures in the semi and auto positions of the mode. That's the CMDS panel. Now we're going to go over to the CMDS page in the DED where we can have further settings. So we're going to press list and then seven. This gets up the CMDS page in our DED. With this basic CMDS page, this here is still a navigation steer point, and these numbers here are bingo quantities relating to that particular kind of countermeasure. So bingo chaff is currently set at 20, flares 10, other one, another two, 10. This means that when we get to that bingo quantity there, we will be given a warning that we are running out of that countermeasure. We can select which type of countermeasure with DCS up and down. So flares, if I wanted to change them to eight, hover over that, press 8 
press enter. The bingo is now set 8 for flares. We have some extra options here as well. So if we cycle down with DCS down, we can get to uh, there we go. We can get to feedback, which can be on or off. This enables or disables the chaff flare audio message that plays when the countermeasure program has been initiated. Next, REQCTR. This enables or disables the counter audio message that plays when consent to release countermeasures is requested in the semi and auto mode, like what we looked at earlier. Finally, bingo. This enables or disables the low or out audio message that play when the bingo quantity is reached or all countermeasures have been expended. So we've looked at how we can use preset programs of countermeasures, but how do we actually decide what constitutes that program? Well, what we could do is press DCS sequence here and we've got chaff here or we could have flares, other one or other two. Again, we'll go to chaff. So here's where we actually set what the program is. We choose the program here with the increment up and down. Uh, we'll change the number one. We've got here burst quantity, burst interval, sequence quantity, sequence interval. This is a quantity of chaff. This is a quantity of chaff. This is a time interval in seconds. This is a time interval in seconds. Programming the programs at the moment doesn't work in DCS October 2019. It's something that's going to come a bit later, but I might as well explain it now. The way we would do it is we type in the amount of uh, quantity of chaff in that burst, let's say five, and then we would press enter and it would stay. Uh, you see, it just disappears at the moment because it's not programmed. The interval between those five chaffs in seconds, that'll be fine, 0 0.02 seconds, uh, 20 milliseconds. Then we go to sequence. This is how many times it runs that burst and the interval between each burst so if we set five there and then we set say two here probably not going to save it again then it would run this burst twice with half a second in between running those two bursts so that's how it will work when it's finally in implemented so we're going to go back to the cni page now let's take off and actually use the system airborne now let's get everything set up we've been locked up by a hostile i'm going to go to manual mode here I'm going to go to program 2 because I just feel like program 2 and I'm going to press CMS forward. And that is the program of chaff flare for that selected program. Next we're going to change to semi. Uh, now semi, auto and bypass aren't just aren't working at the moment. That's annoying we've been fired at. Stand by. Let's just turn away shall we. Uh, they're just not working at the moment, probably for the same reason why we can't manually change the programs in the DED. I'm just going to stable there. So if we went to semi here, what should be happening is it should be telling us that it is ready to deploy this. And when that happened, we would then press CMS aft, which we'll press now. And it's not going to do anything. It's just not programmed into the system yet, but that's how that would work. Then if we went to auto mode again when it's ready to fire it'll give us a warning and to allow it to be able to fire we would press cms aft again which i'm going to press now and then if we wanted to take away the consent to fire we would press cms right in terms of bypass again not working properly at the moment we should turn there and we're going to press cms forward at the moment it just does whatever that is you can see now that we are low and we only have 10 of each. So our suggestion at the moment is just to stick in manual mode and just use the programs. That appears to work. Semi, auto and bypass don't appear to be working. Let me know if you think I'm wrong, but we certainly can't get them to work. When everything's in and programmed, everything should work like we've been explaining it. That's the best we can do for now with what we've got. I hope that's useful and see you later.